Welcome in, you cheap beggars, to Discount, the bargain bin gaming podcast, hosted by three hosts so cheap when you came round to their house to play Player 2, the controller was a brick with painted on Russian characters instead of something usable. Uh, I am your host, Josh, and plugging into Player 2. I'm Darren, hello, and uh, playing the Resi 4 remake whenever she's not on mic. <laughs> hello, it's me, it's Karen, I'm sorry, that took me so off guard, Josh. And who's Mike? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's good. I like yeah, it. Don't, well, I, don't get, I don't get it. It's a thinker. It's a thinker. It's but a yeah. Thinker. <laughs> Who's Mike? When when you're not playing Resi, uh, you're playing Resi when you're not on Mike. That oh. was, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're there. We're there. It's okay. Cool. It's it's. I say it's early. It's about eleven o'clock. It's been a, it's been a long <laughs> week. Admittedly, admittedly, they stole an hour from us today. I, so. I did look up and go, no, it's ten, but you just haven't changed your clock. <laughs> I mean, give us some time. It only happened this morning. It did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, we're back with another episode of Discount. And this is our free plays, freebies, fun time, just reflection of the month of March yeah. um, in 2023. I have to remember what month it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was it's been a weird one. Um, so we're talking all things news, all things what we've played and the PS Plus lineup. Um but yeah, it's been it's been a fun month. Yeah, um, uh, those who've joined us on YouTube will notice there's no recording, only because me and Karis are moving um, at the moment. Uh, so it's boxes galore. We're in a little fort of very precariously stacked items. It's nice. It, is it? Is it's it? Some good decor. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Our little box fort. Yeah. It's, it it, it yeah. takes. It harkens back to being a kid playing video games. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay. No, this fort and boxes is nothing but misery. So yeah, back to a kid right. playing video games. Yeah, I, I think that's also you didn't move much. I, I, I'm used to moving constantly. So when yeah. I was a kid, boxes yeah. for me. I'm used to sitting still. You s- <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with March. How's March been? March been good? It's been March right. madness? It's March. It's March. Um, there's been quite a few news articles, actually, that popped up this month. I mean, we were th- rack- I was racking my brains about news that has happened there. Um, and there's been nothing major. I, was, I put it, That's the way I'd look at it. Like, nothing it big. It has been a pretty slow news month in terms of like gaming news there's been two like chunks of news and one chunk was just after the last episode mm. and the other chunk was like in the last week yeah. and there was nothing between what was, should we have a little talk about the two things that dropped almost immediately after let's what do we want to start with <laughs> uh, we'll start with the one that i think is i mean there's one that's better but i'll start with one that i think can open up more conversation which is okay. about the lebron controller the lebron james mm. controller yeah the lebron james mm. controller um oh, <laughs> is it's a weird crossover, but I kind of like it. I gotta be honest with you, like as somebody who like games casually, but like I categorically don't do sport, right? Mm-hmm. I just don't. Um, so controversially, I know LeBron James from the meme. Okay, yep. <laughs> that's yep. like how I know him. Um, and Space Jam too. And Space Jam too. Yeah. No, don't even know him from that. <laughs> um, but why? Why this? What was the thought process behind this? What's the I big couldn't deal answer that for you. I can sort of answer this. Um, this came alongside PlayStation announced like a uh, PlayStation influencer lineup. Mm. I don't know the exact full list of people, okay. but it is a combination of like various sports stars, actors, like celebrities in general, mm-hmm. which I think they're just doing to try and appeal PlayStation more widely because okay. everyone still thinks of gaming as being. The nerds. thing nerds do in the basement. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I get it from the point of view that obviously, like, LeBron James is like, he's iconic, isn't he? Like, yeah. you know, as somebody who does The third know best sports. basketball player of all time. All time leading scorer, though. Mm. So, Who's second? <laughs> Who's second? Kobe's above him. Okay. Yeah. So, like, so, like, Michael I get Jordan, it. Kobe, LeBron. Yeah. I get why it would be him. That's not, that's not the question. Yeah. It's because like, he plays PlayStation. Fair enough. Like, yeah. but um, I just, yeah, I just thought it, when I, when you told me about it, I just thought it was like a weird. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not excited. I'm not going to buy it. It's yeah. Not I mean, I think you thought about it. I thought about it. I might, yeah. <laughs> but what it made me think is like, oh, if they're going to start doing this. So we're used to like the God of War controllers, the Hogwarts Legacy yeah. controllers. Mm. Now they're not sticking to games, they're sticking to like people and different yep. franchises. What stuff are we going to see? And is there anything that you'd particularly want as like a crossover controller? Ooh. Yes, I want a um, 
an Aaron Rodgers PlayStation 5 controller that has a cheese pattern on it and dispenses ayahuasca from the, uh, the grips. <laughs> The only problem is that every time you turn it on, it doesn't know if it wants to keep playing or not. Yep. <laughs> so like the first five minutes, it's like, oh, I don't know. You have to put it in the dark for four days Does and it then it'll turn on. Sports? No. Um, I mean, uh, the obvious one for me is, you know, if my chemical romance wants to go on, come on, that'd be great. Um, but like, I think that was my one, chemical romance. Yeah. Um, but, no, no, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I think if we're going on more of a like realistic thing, I, I would mean, actually like. And this is probably like unexpected, but like I watch a lot of like um, YouTube gamers that play things. So, so yeah. I would love like a crossover with like Marky Plier, particularly because he is my favorite. Yeah. Um, maybe like Jack Septic Eye to do one because I love him as well. Um, that would be cool if they gave like those game walkthrough like players a collaboration. I, for some reason, I thought you were going to say something like, "I'd like a Leonardo DiCaprio one, please." Leonardo DiCaprio Where... would collab with me. Wait, any day. no, no, it's because uh, Keras is older than twenty-five. That's just used to control. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Said that he wants to branch out into older women because okay. his reputation is annoying him, and I'm here. Okay, <laughs> I'm right here. As her husband, yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I'd have much to say. I think he'd win. I think. Uh, yeah, probably. Indecent proposal. <laughs> I'm getting to like launder you money. You could just give me money. It's not like, a launder. <laughs> it's fine. Um, Absolutely fine. Yeah, I think it's it's opens up a really interesting door for how controller mm. collaborations are and I'm a sucker for a collectible even yeah. though I never got the Hogwarts Legacy one because it never came and they fucked it up for me can I offer one more collaboration go for it uh, I want a Muppets PS5 and when you turn it on it makes the sound of Beaker <laughs> it basically does anyway yeah <laughs> during Christmas because they do the like Kermit the Frog like Christmas season yes Jolly and joyous <laughs> <laughs> la 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 <laughs> lovely yeah it's a I mean, solid topic for a March episode <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that'd be great I mean yeah. even if you just do like a, a season long like randomly during the summer you have Tim Curry is <laughs> <Yep. laughs> when you switch it off on Christmas Eve because there's only one more <laughs> sleep till Christmas I mean I'd pay good money for that yeah <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Who, whoever sticks around long enough for their PlayStations are fully powered down. You just turn off and walk I, away. I, I would have made it that. I would have made it that. <laughs> um, also, about time of month, though, so that was really weird and stuff. And then we finally got a year to the day of Elden Ring coming out. Yep. DLC was announced. Mm. All right. Which I'm excited for. We haven't really heard much more what the DLC is going to be. No. So no nothing, really. Oh, okay. So there's been, like, no... They went, this is the name... It's in development. It's here. It don't happen. Um, but yeah, that was sort of what happened immediately after. But then yeah. there's been some fun like news stories that have popped up um, recently. Um, like there's one where you, there's a game coming out where you can lose all your personal data. Yep. That is nuts. <laughs> I love it. That is nuts. It's the most blatant form of like data farming yep. I have ever seen. So, for those not aware, there is a new dating sim. Yep. I uh, can't remember the name of it. Do you know the name I of it? I don't remember the name uh, of it. Where it does your taxes for you. So, yep. all you have to do is put in all your financial information and um, it will do that for you. And also, scam you out of all your money. Hon- honestly, I'm shocked it's taken this long. Like, people have gone through much more covert methods of data farming. And how did they not realise that you just put an anime girl on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Literally sure. route one. Yeah. And I mean, the thing is, when I, I for a minute I was thinking, like, who is going to fall for this? And then I thought, I can think off the top of my head, like, five guys I know personally that it would fall for this. No yeah. offence. It's just... What, what, was, that, was that Darren then? No. no. <laughs> we locked eyes for a second. No, 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 not Darren. Not Darren, no. I know it's five people, Darren. Who yeah. can... <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, Darren. Not no, you. five people she looked up and went, oh, six. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Yeah. If you don't know just what the side dive is actually, yeah, I know people are. Like, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> we'll, but Accurate, was, yeah. Oh my God, I laughed so hard at home. <laughs> but I suppose those are sort of weird news articles that have popped up, but we've yeah. all got our own little one that we've seen that Can we want to talk about. So I thought ask I'd ask about one that you have written down there that I'm curious about. Go for it. Because I don't expect to see these two together. What the fuck is Diablo Beta and KFC? Issue? This was my item. The, Why, yeah, the KFC? Diablo Beta. What, what a magical that? segue. Okay, oh. so 
Um, Diablo 4 is coming out. Everyone's excited. Yeah. Uh, rightly Diab- so from what the beta rightly looks excited. like. Rightly um, excited. The only problem apparently has been that the uh, GPUs servers overheating. can't handle it. Overheating GPUs as well. Yeah. <laughs> the game, the computers and the queues, like servers can't handle it. Mm. But um, Diablo 4 had basically a promotion that there was the closed beta that came first. Mm. And there were two methods with which you could get a key to the closed beta. The first one is pre-ordering, obviously. That's a thing now. When you pre-order a game, you get a beta code. The other one was uh, in the United States of America. Only. 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 Um, if you ordered a double down sandwich from KFC, you got uh-huh. a beta code for Diablo 4. Oh, okay. This created two problems. Um, the first problem, the much funnier one in my opinion, because I didn't think of this. Um, funnily enough, vegetarians can't play Diablo 4. Fuck them. <laughs> Second one. Well, they can if they don't want to eat the sandwich. Yep. Well, funnily enough, yes. yes. The second one was people were using VPNs to order a double down sandwich from the US to get a beta code. <laughs> so KFCs across the nation just had stacks of ordered double downs that oh nobody came to collect because they just oh wanted beta God. codes. That's phenomenal. So yeah, tons of chickens murdered just for Diablo. People that are probably is... killing chickens in Diablo as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> it's the best. It, and, and that's what the uh, KFC issue is. Uh, with that being said, the beta though, have you seen much of it? Or No, it? I heard good things. The character creation alone is amazing looking, so it feels a lot more like they've developed it further. And every person who I've spoken to who have played it or done anything like that is loving the game and wait, uh, can't wait for it to come out. So really excited. I mean, I'll, I love I'll Diablo. Play. I mean... Yeah. Diablo 3 didn't get me. Like, I love 1 and 2. Like, those, I, yeah. I love those two. Um, 3 didn't just didn't grab me right. I think if I get 4, I'll get on PC rather on the, than yeah. on a console. To be, like, a, to be a real casual boy, I've only played 3. But I, I, I just don't think the console lends itself as nicely. Oh, I thought it was it. great. Oh, fair I enough. clattered it. <laughs> I, I have never played Diablo. I've seen it's fun. it. I've, I've seen people play it, but I've, I've never played it myself. Oh, so. It's it's well, I I I don't know if it's age as well. It's a nice, easy like point click, point click. Mm-hmm. What you're doing, but it's it's good fun. I'm pretty sure at one point, like my dad was playing it, and I think because it was point and click as a kid, like I was like, I don't really get it. Mm. You know? I, was, I I thought it was good fun. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Big fan of it. Worth looking at. But yeah, that was that was your sort of gaming news. Yeah. It happened to be that one. Um, I'm so sorry to segue in that oh, way. Sorry. It's just I, I I that's the first time I've seen that written down, and I was like. What? Honestly, what? Couldn't, couldn't have asked for a better segue. No. <laughs> but I mean, talking of character creation and how good it's looking. Yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh my God. I think Karis has some news. So, um, I know that you're excited about this because yeah, you Darren. also are a Sims player, <laughs> yeah. right? So obviously it's been a long time since like The Sims 4 came out. It wasn't as good as the, the OG Sims 3. And, and I think nothing people... as good as The Herbs. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Sims 2 busting out for the GameCube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah fibbly. But I think, and the reason I've mentioned that as being relevant is because this new game I'm going to talk about, I think, is trying to fill the gaps of what people missed about The Sims 3 and make it better. Mm-hmm. Even though even though Sims 5 is coming out soonish as well. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Soonish. Soonish. We'd be, yeah, Sims 5 has been soonish for years, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a new um, kind of life simulation game coming out uh, developed by Paradox Tectonic called Life by You. Um, this has was teased at the beginning of March, um, March 6, 2000, uh, 2023. And it's going to come out um, early access on September 12th. Oh, I didn't realise it was this year. I will play that. <laughs> yeah, on Steam and on the Epic Games launcher. Um, mm-hmm. So this essentially, as I said, it, it is like... It's very, very Sims-esque where I watched the treat teaser for it. It's very Sims-esque, but it essentially wants to give you like more character control. You control everything that happens with them. There's tons of mods already built into it. So you don't have to do this kind of thing where you buy different like expansion packs or you have to download custom content from the website, which is what usually happens. They, the whole concept behind it is that they already give you that kind of thing built into the game so that you have like ultimate control over everything. It's a lot more open world so you can create your um, towns basically from scratch if you want to. Yeah, it's City Skyline-esque, isn't it? Is that yeah, supposed? so also owned by Paradox. Yeah, yeah, so it just, it just looks really exciting and I think that 
for people who've kind of grown up playing The Sims and if you're like me, I'd get, I'm so sorry, Dad, at the amount of computer viruses that I gave you between downloading The Sims custom content and using LimeWire for every <laughs> album I ever listened to. It's quite a- atrocious. Um, but if you are the sort of person who used to do that regularly as well, um, I, I'm really excited about it. I think the teaser looks cool. What I thought was fun is we would... Me and Dan were actually talking with my sister. We were playing some games the other night and we brought this up and she brought up an interesting thing because the big thing is about conversation trees yeah. in this, isn't it? So like it's quite in depth on how you're doing it. And she thinks that the best thing that Sims ever did was making Simlish mm. because yeah. the conversation isn't stilted or problematic mm-hmm. whilst this is the same people who make Crusader Kings who yeah. makes quite stilted and problematic dialogue. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting how that all works it's, out. There's a thing about it though and this is... Pulling City Skylines back into it. Um, firstly, off topic, I'm very happy about the mod thing because Paradox have always been good for mods. Their games have some of the best mods that are out mm. there. Um, so they made Hearts of Iron, which has a in-depth Fallout mod. It's basically I, like a Fallout. I forgot about you and Hearts of Iron. Yeah, there's like a Fallout <laughs> strategy game essentially, and it's fucking great. But um, yeah, it's the the conversation tree bit. I just. I'm not sure about it yeah. because, yeah. as you say, the best thing about The Sims is it sort of abstracted it out. Yeah. And like City Skylines came out, and one of the big things they uh, brought to the table is that City Skylines has an amazingly in-depth traffic system mm. where like cars are accurately modelled. Yeah. But it means cities are ten times harder to build because you'll just fucking gridlock traffic everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Whereas in like Sim City, you didn't have to worry about traffic; it just wasn't a thing. Yeah. This is something that I am a little bit concerned about myself when I was watching the trailer for it is that we, you know, we talk about Simlish and and things like that. Part of the reason why Simlish is so good is because part of what makes Sims so much fun is that it absolutely doesn't take itself seriously at all. Like this is a game where I can like (laughs) hit on the Grim Reaper and then piss myself because my Sim has decided that she's going to ignore my toilet prompts for four hours. Um, so it's, Sorry, just getting my uh, <laughs> career going as master criminal. Yeah. So it's, it's a silly game. It's a fun game. It's escapism because this is... It's just stupid... It's stupid shit all the time. And my worry with things like maybe the lack of Simlish and, and, and the thing that you said about the creating the cities is I really hope that they don't take a more realistic approach with it to they, a really... I, think, I hope they do. So that's my issue with Sims. I find Sims is so lack of... I have such a lack of focus on what I'm doing with it. I really want a more... Right. <laughs> so I, I suppose it's... Yeah. it's we'll see how it works. It would be nice if they found a middle ground between the two. Yeah, I hope it's like a typical Paradox game where it's like 40 hours in before you understand the UI. Yes, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. Um... Talking of weird cars and gridlock, <laughs> now, um, there is also Lego 2K Drive yes. was announced, which looks absolutely mental. It looks amazing. <laughs> it's it's not the game I was going to talk about, so I'm just brought it because it just feels like I'm right somewhere. Yeah. But they've made like an open world race game, which is Lego. You go around the different biomes of Lego, and oh it feels more God. like Lego it's... Island again. Yeah, yeah, it... like sort of Forza Horizon slash Lego Island. <laughs> But it came out of nowhere. Yeah, this was like a week ago, and they just dropped it and went, yeah, Lego 2K Drive is coming. It's a fully open world Lego driving oh game. Oh my god, that sounds so a, good. A thousand um, pieces sorry. for car customization. Also, uh, co-op. Full co-op. <laughs> no way. Yeah, and it was like, what the f- fuck is this? Oh um, my god. It was a game I wasn't expecting to want to buy, but it's one of yep. them too. Which is also another game that's coming out that I wasn't expecting to come out, which looks amazing, which is the TMNT oh, yeah. new game uh, inspired by Last Ronin. Um, so if you're not aware of the comic, it's about there's one of the turtles is left. Hmm. The rest have died during the War of Shredder. The world is sort of like, it's almost like a Batman year one. So it's like quite gritty and dark. And it's one turtle. You're not sure which turtle it is. I can't remember if you find out at the end. But he's got one of each of the different um, weapons on him. So you yep. can use the Psy. You can use the Staff. You can, you can use all these ones. Mm. So it's going to be like an open world. It says it's going to be God of War style game. So it's going to be like this action RPG that's quite linear in ways, but you can go off. Yeah. And it's going to be dark, gritty. It's going to be... And I hope that they do what... He, what it was meant to be. So like in the cartoons, obviously he goes, they're fighting robots. And it's... Uh, the original comics are bloody and rough yeah. and they're yeah. fighting people, so I'm hoping this is what I'm getting with this. It came out of nowhere. Yep. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles are getting a massive resurgence. I'm very excited for it. Yep. But um, I don't know if you saw much or have any other opinions I, of the game. I like that they didn't specify which God of War. Ooh. I hope it's like original God of War, <laughs> where you just like 
kick the shit through like a thousand minions and then gouge rock steady's eyes out oh god <laughs> i hope i hope it's not but i'm really concerned it's gonna be that now oh, i think it'd be great what would you rather it be i like, want to be new god of i want i want new i mean I think they're going to go new God of War because that's yeah. the new trend. Where he also has a baby turtle and they have to learn to get over the death of his mother. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. I love that. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been made into soup or something. He's been made into a nice turtle soup. <laughs> yeah. Um, what a lovely way to end the news section. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's stuff we're wanting to play, what's coming out, some exciting yeah. things. But um, let's have a little look at what we have played this yep. month. Um does anyone want to kick us off with a game that they've played? Oh, I'll go. go I have uh, I have two I want to talk about. One I have played a lot of, and one I've played a little of, okay. but I still want to bring up. I'll start with the lot one, which is earlier this month, I finished uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Oh, yes, you mm. did. Which is great. It's like an XCOM deck builder by way of persona bond mechanics. With some of the worst dialogue interactions you'll ever have. Funny enough gets better I, I mean that's that's what slowed me down when I started playing it was like oh my god this is a chore talking to all these people but I loved the actual combat yeah. of it the, the thing is like the combat is great I thought it was going to be like a classic XCOM thing where you like click around you attack it comes up with 95% chance to hit and then you miss everyone mm-hmm. but that is always the case in XCOM always the and way then, and then the guy you thought was safe gets sniped from nowhere yeah <laughs> well like a 10% chance to just get fucking one shot um, but it's more like you have your hand of cards and you build a deck of eight cards for each hero you bring three along and each of them are built slightly differently in the way they work mm. so each one will be based around a different mechanic like um iron man is based around redrawing cards so you redraw his cards and they get more abilities um doctor strange is based around improving later turns right so he'll have a card which is um it takes a use and then you draw four cards next turn Mm -hmm. Or you draw your last two cards you played and they'll be better next turn. Um, And it just goes like that. You sort of destroy enemies. A lot of them die in one hit and then there are ones that have more health. There's mechanics like knockback where you knock them back, obviously. There's quick cards where if you kill them with that card, it doesn't use a move. And then the other half of it is you go to the abbey and you just chat with people and you hang out and you go on like nice friendly hangouts. Make, okay. And you have to power up all your friendship level to yep. maximum with all your friends. And when you do that, it gives you more abilities in combat. Like right. my favorite benefit you get is uh, Spider-Man's attacks are based around environmental attacks. Yep. So you right. can hit bits of the environment. And if you get your friendship level high enough with him, one of the benefits is he has a 25% chance for his environmental attacks to not use mm. a move for to be right. free. Okay, that's cool. So as you friend them up, you get stuff related to them. And like your team up attacks give one counter or one block or whatever. Um, as Josh said, it starts a bit ropey. It gets better because it really sort of commits to its point, which is that you have just been raised from the dead as the main character. Why would anyone trust you? Right. You are a thousand-year-old like demon killer. And about as mm. generic looking as they can. You are. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then as you go over it, everyone sort hunter. of warms... They are called Hunter, <laughs> yeah. Because you're a hunter. Hey. Right. Um, and then everyone sort of warms up to you as you go. Yeah. And you sort of unlock more better dialogue. More better dialogue. I was going to say, more dialogue, and then try to rewrite that to better dialogue, and just have to say, more better dialogue. Um, Because you have become friends with them, and they trust you, so they sort of open up a bit more. And everyone has their reasons for being standoffish, because the Midnight Suns, who are the team that are already there, have, funny enough, all had shit lives. Mm. One of them, their parents are like massive villains. One of them was tricked into a deal with the devil. One of them is Blade. So... (laughs) He's a fucking vampire who everyone wants to kill. Mm. And then as you get more into them, they sort of reveal more of that side of them. And sort of you have more of these conversations about like with, um, fuck's her name, Liana, the one who made the deal with the devil. Yep. About how that has properly like fucked her up. Because mm. why would she trust anyone where she was since she sold off to the devil? Yeah. And that expands out a bit. It's like, I liked it. I just felt like it felt, the, I, I think it sounds stupid to say the graphics were a bit of a drawback on it. It feels like mobile gamey. Yeah. Things, doesn't it? Like, it, I, I feel like for what it is, it's, that's, it's shocking that this is a big t- studio title. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it got no publicity. No. It yeah. came out and just was out in the world. And I forgot it was coming out until you were like, oh, I bought it. I, like, I, I bought it on release. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard about that once. Yeah. Um, I think it, a lot of it's push dropped down as soon as uh, Gotham Knights yeah. bombed mm. and they went, right. 
we'll just not do this. So if it doesn't do well, it doesn't yeah. do well. Like, yeah. The only thing, I wish I had maybe like 10% more polish. Yeah. I wish I could build bigger decks. I wish there was more variety in the cards. Yeah. It's like, it's very good, but there's clearly greatness in there. Yeah. It, just a little bit of tweaking was it's, needed. It generally feels like a deck building game where you need at least two expansions to actually get it to work. Sort yeah. Of thing, like so. a lot of the cards are good, but if I want to build a proper like engine, yeah. I need... 10 cards and i have eight yeah, yeah so you sort of have to try and blend you end up having pairs of people you bring along because they interact well like i mean uh, i think it's just it's just strategy game though isn't it so you, yeah. you do have to think further than just this deck and i gotta be honest part of me was like ah that looks like a more powerful card that looks like a more powerful card yeah. and i'm not thinking it through so yeah and you also need to bring a nico on every mission because she's op as fuck is she okay yeah. okay is she the one with the purple stuff yeah. yes cool. massively op um, so sh- that was your big one that you yep. played this month. Really enjoyed and got your platinum for, which yeah. I'm probably going to reinstall and have a go at. It's a, it's a good old game. Uh, um, the little one. Uh, Crash 4 is a motherfucker of a game. <laughs> yeah. Absolute motherfucker of a game. Yeah. Why it needs to be so hard, I don't know. <laughs> right. I, I've platinumed the, like, the remaster of Crash 1. But that, that's a feat in itself. That was hard. Like, yeah. This is absurd. I, I gave up on Crash 4. Yep. I gave up on it. The the mission, the levels are like twice as long. You need to get the platinum time trial times. You need to be everyone getting every box without dying. Mm-hmm. You need to get every box and finish every level in less than three lives, uh, less than three deaths anyway. It's fucking stupid. It's, it's crazy that you've had so much time, uh, so much. I remember going with that game and having such a hard time trying to get those mm. sort of, because I was doing it, so I was doing each so I'm terrible for it. I do it in each one. So I do the first level, then I'm going to go back and knock yeah. all the things out. Then I move, and I won't move to the next one until I've done it. So I've done about four of these levels. Yeah. And now I'm not. I haven't gone further in the story because I want to get it done. And oh, it's you not- have to go further in the story to unlock the other half of like the stuff you need to get. That's that's yeah. horrible. You unlock like a whole idea. second mode essentially where you no, do every level with a new like art style. Yeah. And you oh, get right. all the gems again. It's mirrored. Mm. Um, yeah, I've I've fully completed two worlds. Yeah. Done entirely. I, I'll be honest with Not you, Crash. I mean, I spent when COVID happened. I spent the majority of my time like platinum from the Spyro games. Yep, great fun. I after that was like, yeah, we'll go with Crash and we'll do that. I <laughs> have resigned myself to the fact that I will never get a platinum in a Crash game. Yep, I will never do it. It's it a sadist is work. Ridiculous. Yeah. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I've resigned myself to it. I'm not doing it. And absolutely fucking fair play to you. I will, I will say, regardless of the comments I've just made, phenomenal game. Oh, it's oh, really great. good. It Beautiful. Looks, the yeah, levels are so amazingly good. done. It's just fucking hard. I why? also like the changes to this one where it's not quite like the secrets. You like the bits where you go, oh, I have to work out a puzzle for this. Yeah. Like they've added little bits, which I go, oh, that's nice. Because mm-hmm. um, this is completely new. Is this one made by Toys for Bob yes. entirely, isn't it? So it's done by them. It's not a remake of any of the Naughty Dog ones. It's just they're running on their own thing. Thing. Well, Activision now, sadly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see if they do more Crash. I know there's a new Crash game coming out soon, which yeah. is the Rumbleverse game. Yeah, it's a new Crash Bash. Yeah, yeah, Crash which is. Bash. I think that comes out later this month. Yeah, there's a beta coming out later. This yeah, month, I think. so well, we'll see how it goes. I would love to see more Crash. It's just. It's, they're just so fucking hard. I, I'd like a new Crash Team Racing, please. Oh my god, yes. Because it's yep. better than Mario Kart. Yep. Yes. We will say it. Fuck so, it. so good. Fight us. Um, talking of hard Platinums, yep. my, my game for this month wasn't as hard as I thought it would be to get the oh, Platinum. Yeah, good. Um, so I have been playing Wo Long Fallen Dynasty this month. Yep. Um, a spiritual successor to Neo, made by Team Ninja as well. Um, focusing on the Battle of the Three Kingdoms from, yep. you know, from Dynasty Warriors. I mean, it's not from Dynasty Warriors, it's from history yep <laughs> it, it did it happen um with you know sun Zhan and well Xiao Xiao it and sort of happened sort of happened it's it? all based on a um historical in air quotes recounting of the war yeah of which historians have said is probably about 30 percent true yeah that sounds about right the names are right the places are right everything else is kind of off well yeah, yeah i mean like especially in this one because for some reason everyone's got demon spells and like um oh, yeah. there's a black tower smith he's called like the black tower smith and he goes and he can like give people this sort of dark chi energy yeah. and you got chi but it's it follows the sort of the souls born um team ninja styling where you've got um you know you die you have to go back and recover your stuff or it's gone but it's much 
it's much more friendly than a Soulsborne game. Um, I think a Team Ninja game. I think it's far more accessible. Yeah. Even with this one being like a like a Sekiro light mm. one, um, which I absolutely st- I couldn't do anything with Sekiro. I think I beat maybe two bosses in Sekiro mm. before I couldn't get any further. This one, I defeated all the bosses. I've done all the classes. To be honest, I platinumed it. I think about two weeks after it came out. Yeah. And when I did, I got a lot of comments going. How? How have you already done this? Because normally I use like a fighting cowboy. Shout out to him on YouTube as well. He does great content for mm. for the Soulsborne games and these yeah. sort of things. And he goes, you a real comprehensive look of if you want one hundred percent. He do this is how you do it. And I did it before he had anything out. So I feel like oh that's pretty good. Um, mm. It's fairly fairly simple, fairly nice platinum. It's just like get all the collectibles. If you don't know have all the collectibles, you probably can go and find a guide to find out where yeah, those yeah. are yeah. if you want to. But you should find them all just playing the game i think i missed one collectible by the end of the game so i had to go back and work out where that was but it's really nice I, it's such a satisfying game as they all are just deflecting and parrying at the right time i think the last boss that's like a sub story was a pain in the ass yeah and there's a couple of other ones that go, oh that's really hard like the first boss you fight i think might be the third or fourth hardest boss in the game yeah that's, that's neo yeah. Neo difficulty yeah. curves are like fucking child scribbles. <laughs> they make no sense. I, I think it's more that the first one is difficult to make you learn how to play the game. It's like, if you don't learn how to parry and deflect, you aren't going to make it in this yeah. game. So mm-hmm. learn it now or don't play the game, which I respect because I think I died probably second most on that first boss. So I'd say it's like the fourth hardest probably. Yeah, but like, mm-hmm. I think Neo won. The hardest boss is the third from last boss. The second hardest boss is the second boss. The third hardest is the fourth or fifth. Mm. It's all over the place. Yeah, I, I think there's there's a guy called... Uh, I'm not going to say which it is, but it's the last main boss you fight okay. to finish the game. I think he is one of the hardest. I think he probably is the second hardest boss you fight in yeah. there. Um, and then, obviously, because it's a Dynasty Warrior style, so if you know any of the characters, Lu Bu's first fight, yes. so you fight Lu Bu twice. The first fight is much harder than the second fight. Um, but it's really good fun. I'm very really excited to it. it. It's beautiful to look at as well. Yeah. Um, and I love beating all those characters. I'm like, ah, oh, they're doing him like this in yeah. this one. Like, There's a really cool bit with... Um, I always get his name wrong. It's... Uh, I call him Shaku Dun, which is Xiao Xiao's thing, Xiao Hu. Xiao Hu Dun? Dun, yeah. You know, he's got like, um, he's got a bandage over one yeah. eye. Um, but he's got two eyes in this for the most part. And then he gets hit with an arrow with dark chi magic in it. And it hits him and then he turns into an enemy that you then have to fight. Right. Once you defeat him, you don't kill him, but he comes and he's now got a bandage for the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. You're like, ah, oh, that's fun. And yeah. it's stuff like that. It's really worth playing. That's if cool. you like those sort of style games, yeah. give, give well excited. Them. I love the Neo games. Yeah. I controversially probably like them more than the actual Souls games. Oh, really? I'm good. I, I, I haven't played Neo them. Games. Neo 2 is my favourite Souls born game. And it's probably... Over Bloodborne? Yeah. Oh. It's probably in my like top 10 <laughs> all time. I love you Neo 2. I really wish we were recording this because the face that Josh has made. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go back and play it. What I will give it for Wo Long, I literally finished it and went, God, I want to play the Neo games. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to see how they fare up as well. Yeah. So, yeah. They're very good. Really good. Really very good cool. games. Um, Karis, have you been playing much this month? Oh my God. Right. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little thing right now. Okay. So Josh will tell you, I really struggled to game this month. Okay. Really struggled. So um, for those of you who don't know, I work in a school. We had an inspection. It just like completely took over my life. Um, and my brain was dead. So I just didn't want to come home and game. And um, this weekend, obviously the inspection was done and Josh was like, hey, um, Resi 4 has turned up. <laughs> <laughs> so I put that on. And when I tell you, I am... Um, fucking blown away like what what a remake what a remake i'm probably i'm only four chapters in there's 16 chapters so i'm about a quarter of the way through the game right now and it is so good it was it it's so beyond what i thought it would be as well like i've I've not played any of it i've just seen mm. you you playing it and visually it is a beautiful game. It is like, it's, gorgeous. I mean, I, I they they pushed it up in in ways I wasn't expecting. Mm. Um, I'm really excited to give it a go. It's so good, and there's so many. Like, I tell you, what got it for me was just that the amount of details that they've done where they've used the new hardware really well. So it's things like um, 
I know you pointed out, you were like, oh my God, that's actually a bit disgusting. Um, there's parts where as Leon, obviously you can, um, you finish them off with a knife and all the sounds of the viscera come from the, the controller. controller. That's right. And, I love that. Um, you know, it, 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 the, the combat feels a lot more solid than it did originally. And it feels a lot more controllable and it's, 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 it's just really good. There are a few things that I was like, they got the glitches with the pigs and the cows. Spot the fuck on. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say. Um, I don't know if any of you what here and this will follow me on Instagram. I hope you do. Um, I put up a clip the other day where I, I, I finished off this old woman. It was the first kind of time. That Lucky her. Like, yeah. That... <laughs> you see the the virus and her head's blown off and it's all like that and this pig crept up to the side of me and i was trying to move and it wouldn't let me move and then it just fucking pelted me across the barn and i remember that happening to me the first time we played it so it was it, it was good because i i you you messaged me when i've perfect clips so i looked at it whilst i was oh, that's funny enough i was playing with darren on yeah, think, yeah. was it Warzone or something like that yeah, yeah playing this and i went oh darren have you seen this clip you went no no, no i haven't because I, I, I laughed at it and then two minutes later, I hear a laugh at the other end. <laughs> I don't know it up, yeah. as well. So. But there's, there's a couple of things that I um, I will say is that there's a nice thing and a kind of a uh, thing, but it's not much of a uh, thing. Um, it's been really interesting to go back to this game after years and playing the newest mainline Resi games and seeing, I mean, obviously, I've always said um, Resi 8 is an homage to 4. So like the influence is all over it. It's like drenched in it. It's been really interesting to see what I didn't realise before was how much influence 4 I had over 7 as well. Mm. Um, because there are little bits that I've played through and I thought, oh my God, no, I never put that together before. And after playing 7, it's like, okay, this particular game had a really big effect on the entirety of that kind of Ethan Winters storyline. Yeah. Um, which I didn't expect because I knew it about 8. It was a in 8. Um, but it wasn't over in seven. So that's been kind of cool to make those links there. Um, the only thing that I think is a downside of it is that, and this is my own fault, like when I play new games with story and stuff like that, I like to go on like what I call pussy mode the first time. I don't want too much of a challenge. I just want to enjoy the story. I would say the easy mode on this is a little bit too easy. Fair enough. Um, I wish I had played it on normal first because I don't feel like there's a great amount of challenge in there right normal's, now. Normal's my normal run through on yeah. the first yeah. of the game. Just do I, normal. Normal is, I feel, what they intend for it to be. Mm. Yeah. It's mm. like the standard difficulty is clear. They have made it and gone, this is how it should be. Yeah. I find so Resi's normal. always weird though because they normally have like a hard and an extra hard. And you're yeah. like, What's, what are you doing with this? Yeah. Control yourself. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this is one that I will absolutely try on Platinum. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I will play it on other difficulties. I will rue the day I said this because I absolutely guarantee that I'll play it on like Nightmare Difficulty or something. It'll be like fucking Madhouse all over again. And yep, yep definitely. The place down. <laughs> um, but... For now, the easy... If you're going to play it the first time, I would recommend going yeah. on normal. I will say, the most remarkable thing about this game to me, and you don't see this often, is across all of social media that i followed, I've seen nothing bad about it. Yeah. Every fan of it has gone, this is everything I wanted. The yeah. only thing I've seen negative about it is that people are tired of seeing all the posts about it. <laughs> That's yeah. literally it, which, like, you go, is that... Everyone who thing? was posting, like, I'm really looking forward to it, have come out and said, it's everything Yeah. I hoped it would be. I literally could not have been happier with it from what I've played of it so far. Yeah. I See, 4, I don't remember particularly well. I remember playing it, I think... I don't think I ever completed it. I think I played bits of it on a Wii. I think I've done things like that. I, I finished it on the Wii, yeah. Oh, you finished it. But, like, I've gone back to it and watched you playing it. I go, God, it's a lot brighter than I expected it to be. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a sh- it's just I, the Spanish countryside. Yeah, I was like, oh, I don't know why I'm disappointed by it being too bright, but I am. I'd rather it was like, oh, there's a mm. eclipse lasting to you know, like making it that airy. But that's that's my own preference. But yeah. I'll just turn I'll just turn the lighting right down. Yeah. <laughs> Good game, though. Good game. Excellent. Good game. Absolutely. Um, Good game. Just want to talk about two little things quickly, game wise. Finish. I platinum Harry Potter. Hey. Hogwarts Legacy as well. This nice. Month. Um, my God, that takes a while and is unforgiving in its collectibles. Yeah. Um, as they are randomized. Um. I think we were right with our general opinions from last game where it is an underwhelming game. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've started for Spoken and I thought I'd just only bring this up only because you were talking about difficulty levels. Yeah. And at the beginning is the most confusing difficulty level choices I've ever seen in a yep. game. Really? Where it's like, one, 
Do you want to just enjoy the story? Do you like to explore? Do you like difficult combat? And then the last one is default. I'm like, well, isn't Dad, default you, the second one down? When? Do you like difficult combat? Confact, yes. I do. Do you yeah. like difficult confact? Confact, yes. My favourite kind do. of confact, yes. yes. <laughs> it's what well, confacts are actually a lies. Um, yeah. they're, they're, I prefer profact. <laughs> you do, yes. Um, but it was like, what is this easy, normal, hard? And is the bottom normal again? What are you trying to tell me, game? <laughs> and then I start the game and go, oh, you're just not clearing anything you nope. do. <laughs> So, um, it's a weird game. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention. What happens if you like put that on and then all of a sudden the difficulty is like super hard and you weren't expecting it? I gotta be honest, I wouldn't know if it is hard or not hard or easy or hard. I can't work out. It's like press circle to dodge and then you go when it's like shines. You go, that's what I meant to. It goes, oh no, not right now. And you get hit anyway. Like, oh, good, thank yep. you. That you've got no idea. But I'm not going to die anyway because it, you just can't die in that game. It feels like. Yep. <laughs> Regardless, that was um, the games we've been looking at and playing this last month. I mean, yes. there are other games, but we'll, I'll probably be talking about one of them in quite a bit of detail shortly. Um, as we go into PS Plus okay. for March. Come on. So we knew a lot about PS Plus. Well, the three main games, PS Plus, very early this month um, when it came out in February State of Play. They yep. gave us a bunch of stuff. So they gave us the essential monthly games and then the headliner yeah, extra extra games, games um, which I think took a bit of the excitement out of this month for PS Plus. Yeah, normally I'm like, oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? And then it came. And I was like, oh, I already knew a lot of this and the bits you've it, added on. Eh. It was part of that, and it was partly the well, games. Like, the, yeah, the typical conversation is so, good month, bad I was month. Gonna, I was going to go into that. So, is it a good month or is it a bad month? It's for PS a month? fine month. Yes, yeah, it's I all think right. I argue it's a bad month. I I think overall the games would make it a good month but just the headliner ones i have played yeah i've got that going on. i also think that it's interesting enough the ones that are lower down on the list of how good they are the ones i haven't played and i go oh that looks a little interesting i'll give that a go but nothing in this month has wowed me no like i think um like uncharted is a headliner game yeah. ghostwire oh. is a headliner game um People like that fucking Immortals Phoenix Rising game. I don't know. I don't, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a couple other ones. Like, Battlefield is apparently good now. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. But it's a lot of stuff where I'm like... Uh... I I've got to be honest. Like, it's, I think especially because I think, was it last month that it was, like, amazing? Really good. Yeah. yeah. And then I think... I think it's hard to follow that anyway because we all raved last month about how good it was. Um, and then when you've got this, like... The, yeah, the, I think there were maybe two games on there that I was like, yeah, great. And then uh, the others I wasn't. I mean, let's put it this way. Street Fighter V came out again. It feels like they've given it away 20, yeah. 30 times now. You're like, oh, God, no one wants to play your Street Fighter V. Yeah. It yeah. Just, it's just stuff like that where you're like, mm. it, it was a lot of like just, it felt like a B-tier month where yeah. nothing bad. Yeah. But you look at it and like people have been asking for ages for like... um something like Sifu or like yeah. Kina. Mm. And it's like, what cool PS exclusive are you going to give me? And they went, hey, Ghostwire. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. It does, it does feel a little bit like sometimes, like it, if we're talking about month to month comparison, I, I, you know, I could be wrong. I could be the only one that feels this, but like, it feels like when we had that really good month, it was like, they'd gone through and they'd gone, this is great. This is great. This yeah. is great. We're going to, we're going to really go for it. And then in this month, it always feels like somebody in PlayStation has gone, shit I've got to release the list in like a day <laughs> of what we're going to do and then they just shove in like things like Street Fighter 5 like nobody yeah, wants to like, fucking play this last time they've done like so we'll just chuck it in again half the list they've gone we don't have a headliner <laughs> <laughs> Uncharted chuck a rest of them in go on fuck it <laughs> I'm excited for Uncharted though yeah well should we talk about the games we're champion before we yes. reveal yes. our top 5 I'm actually mm. happy to go first on that okay. because the one that I am championing is Uncharted so they why got... would you do that <laughs> <laughs> They've got um, the uh, Thieves Legacy uh, put on. Legacy of Thieves. Legacy of Thieves. Same sorry. thing. I think I, think, I thought it was Thieves Legacy. No, Legacy of Thieves. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. So, Same thing. Um, and that is um, Uncharted Four, and also um, I forget what the end of it is called. Now there's another uh, Thieves End, isn't it? Lo yeah, uh, a Thieves Thief, End is for uh, Uncharted Four Thieves End, and it's also got Uncharted: The Lost Legacy, yes, which yeah. is the one that I the was, girl one. Um, yeah. The one that everyone wrote off as soon as it came out because they're all sexist. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> it's actually a pretty solid game. Now, I'm going to write it off. She's hot. I have not actually played yeah. <laughs> um, Lost Legacy before. I haven't played Uncharted 4 all the way through, I'll be Good honest. Game. I've played some some of it. And that's the reason why I wanted to champion it, I'll be honest. Is because, because you I've love played... Crash Bandicoot and get to play that in there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know I've played some of the other Uncharted's as well. And I think Uncharted is just a solid franchise. Yeah. Um, if you, you know what you're getting into with an Uncharted game, you know you're going to go for action and adventure and it's just a little bit of fantasy and fun. And, and there's not much about the Uncharted games that I don't like, to be honest. I just think that they're a fun franchise. Yeah. If you're looking for something off the cuff and fun that you want to play, I just think it's a solid choice. I also think you can join in at four and yeah. not yeah. worry about the first three, which they're, is a real They're really benefit. nice brain-off games. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. like, I'm just going to enjoy like the explosions. Here's a bunch, of, yeah. here's a bunch of cinematic sequences where you have to do a couple of quick time events, but you're going to see like yeah. a great view of what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think as a franchise overall, it's got a really good reputation for just being entertaining. Yeah. It's, no, it's Naughty Dog. They don't yeah. they don't really miss. It's not super serious. It's not something like you have Sam. to concentrate <laughs> on. It's, it's a good game, as you've said, to just switch off at the end yeah. of the day. So I, ju- I thought it was a good choice for somebody who just looks at that and goes, oh, God, that list is a bit... It's uh, also a beautiful game, as you said. I remember when it first came out, it was yeah. amazing. I think it was yeah. 2018 and Uncharted 4? A mm-hmm. bit earlier um, than that, I think. I will check that now, actually. But I'm busy trying to work out. It's at least... I want to say 16. 16, 16 yeah. But like, it came out and everyone was blown away by how it looked. I mean, mm. the, the one that always took the thing was the car sequence in the mud and yes. all that and it's it's a stupendous like stupid action fun sequence yeah. and I, I like 4 more than the others because I think it's a little more grounded mm. yeah, yeah. I, like I always found it hard was it 2 where you're suddenly with the yetis and yeah. stuff like that I was like yeah. oh god I also what? think with this one they this is probably the best one they had that they really hit the balance between the action and the platformer elef- uh, elephants mm. The platforming elephants, yes. <laughs> the platforming I'd play that game. elephants. I think that they got that really spot on. Yeah, like the, the thing is with it, I, I'll say I never finished this one. Mm. And I don't know, it's just because it is, as you say, it doesn't mean as far into that sort of bit. Mm. Yeah. Like, I will say, I think two is probably my favourite one of them. I think it's a lot of people's. And it's because once you start getting into that weird sort of mm. bit with the yetis, you're like... Well, fuck, I have to see this through now. Yeah. yeah. Why are the fucking yetis here? Whereas, like, I got to the bit in four where shit starts to get weird. Yeah. And I just went, yeah. Uh... I think the only thing I will say about the Uncharted series as a whole, and I think, again, same as you, I didn't finish four, mm. um, is that I think because it's such a, it's an entertaining game, it's such a brain switch off game, and it may be because this isn't really my kind of chosen genre. It's it's a franchise that's easily overshadowed by other things. So you just forget about I it. I te- like I remember playing it, and then if something like, for example, Resi Four came out, it would be like, oh, am I going to drop this to play this other game? Yeah. I do think there are people who will champion this. So it's, it's yeah. like their get like yeah. yours is Resident Evil, and other, but I think there are people who will love yeah. love this through, and rightly so because yeah. I don't think there is. Realistically, there's nothing to fault in the Uncharted games apart no. from, I would argue, their trophy lists. Yes, they're all four. <laughs> that is the only thing. terrible. That's the only thing I, yeah. would, I would go. Four's not as bad okay. um, as the others, but it's... A, and I Legacy of Thieves is potentially one of the best ones they've got in Can there as well. what the problem with the trophy list is? Only because I, I didn't get into trophy hunting. Speed running. You have to do a bunch of speed running. You, have to, you basically have to run through the game like three different yeah. times doing different sort of mm. tasks. You have, you have to get every treasure, which are quite well hidden. There's like a hundred of them in each game. You have yeah. to get a certain number of kills with every single weapon. Yeah. Right. And everyone has its own individual trophy. Um, you have to do it on like all the difficulties, but those thankfully stack. Yeah. It's just... Naughty Dog fucking love those trophy lists where it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, do it on every difficulty and get this much with every gun. They really want you to fucking work They've for changed it. Yeah. recently. Okay, Last of Us Part 2 and The Last of Us one remar- Part 1 Remastered, those are much better. better. 4, I think, was the start of them going, oh, we realise we keep fucking people yeah. over. Yeah. Like, no one's getting the Platinums because they aren't enjoyable to get. But that's a minor thing. But yeah, yeah. I think that's a really good game to champion yeah. for this, this month. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going for, I suppose, the big... Like the headline, I would say, was their big one. Go, it's our new game coming free. We can beat you, Game Pass. Yeah. In Chia, um, which came out on Tuesday, um, I platinumed on Thursday. Yep. Um, or Friday, I think it was early Friday. Um, it's an open world um, sort of 
game. I say yeah, it's an open world sandbox set inspired by the place of New Caledonia. Um, it's got a nice little message at the beginning, which is like, "Hey, this is us. We went there. We experienced these people." It's all in French, um, yep. which is cool with nice. subtitles. There's lots of little rhythm bits in there, like they sing songs, and you have to like mm. tap along or play your ukulele in time, which is a fucking nightmare. Yep. The ukulele, um, <laughs> or you can like let it just play by itself. But it's cool, like you do like soul dumping, you can possess things, you go on, and it's about this girl going off to take on some ancient sort of spirit who is the mayor or the owner of the island, um, who everyone's scared of, and you then go to combat them to free the people that they've taken. Yeah. That's the long and short of it. You go off. There's a few things in there that are problematic, like the map system, um, which I actually didn't mind after I worked out how to use it appropriately. Like, you have to get your compass up. You have to get a compass. Then you put the compass up. You choose where you want to go. But if you check the map, no idea where you are. No idea where you are. You could just find little stands that you like yeah. give you a mark. But that was the last known location. Um, but overall, it's quite nice. Um, the Platinum's not enjoyable. I, I, the Platinum's enjoyable enough, but there's too many collectibles for right. it. And you also have to find all the animals, which are RNG'd in random locations. Um, all the animals and all the plants. And one of the plants, you don't find randomly. You have to summon it. But I didn't realise it, so I ran around looking for a plant for about half an hour before realising I could summon said plant. Yeah. Um, also, there are no guides for this game yet, nope. understandably. But yeah, I, I should have put something together. I could, I could have been the first one to put a guide up for everyone quite comprehensively. But oh well. No, I've, I've been watching um, my partner Lauren play it. And it just looks delightful. It's, it's, it looks yeah. so sweet. I was going to say, I've, I've walked in on you playing it a few times. I've watched you play it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> playing his ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. He's very good at it. Uh, yeah. It's hard He's to keep time. It's hard, <laughs> it's hard to keep time. <laughs> um, but it does, it, it's just a really cute game. It's like, yeah. I particularly liked watching you possess rocks and fling yourself across things. That's I did that, fun. yeah. I love that. You can, because you can throw it and then you can zoom into it again. So if you need to go up some really yeah. high, you're like, cool, bing, bing, just yeah. shoot your way up mountain. It's a, it just looks really cute and it's nice. Uh, the best bit is all the uh, ukulele songs that you learn. Yeah. Like, all spell words which oh, relate yes. to the thing. Yeah. Yes, so that's what I was going to say. So like, to summon a bird, you have to hit chords B B A A D so it's a bad, bad. <laughs> or a dog is D W A G. Yeah. Um there are these little wooden creatures that you can so you get and it's face. With face. Yeah. And once you've beaten the game you get this cool like flying bird snake mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. And the word you spell is aced. Nice. Like nice. aced the games. Like, it's like stuff like yeah. that. And you go they thought about I it. Like my my favourite one is the uh, morning one is cafe for yes. coffee. Um, yeah. That's a lot of fun. I will say I I can absolutely tell now that my head has been totally burnt out this week because you said that they speak French. Yeah. I thought they were speaking a made up language, man. I'm sure this is really French. Did. I'm sure it's French <laughs> it's speaking. A it's, mix of it, French and the language is called Drehu, yeah. which is like a native language too there. Right. But I read that apparently there's not as much of that as they hoped because there are no registered voice actors who speak it. Right, that ah. makes sense. There's only like twelve thousand people in the world who speak it. So yeah, they're like, yeah. well fuck, what do I, we do? I, I don't I don't mean that in an offensive way at all. It's more a reflection on me, but I, I, I thought going back to the Simlish thing, I thought it was I thought like the same. And you pick up the occasional word and you're yeah. like, Oh, it's French. But, okay. but it's because it's not done in like the overly French accent, so you're just listening to it. But it's almost quite uh, like the songs in it are so lovely, lovely. As well. mm. but yeah, it's a really nice, cute little game to play. I would, I would recommend giving it a go. If it doesn't hit you, doesn't isn't your yeah. vibe, that's fine. I think this is the ideal game to get for free on a Game Pass. I would never have bought this. Yeah, I would have looked at it if it came on sale for like fifteen, ten pounds, something like that, between those two points. I would buy it. Yeah, but this being on there for free, go for it. You'll have a lovely little time. Yeah. Darren, what are you going for? Like, lovely little times? Uh, lovely little times. Uh, I am championing the Untitled Goose game. Because <laughs> it's, it's just the fucking best. Oh I honestly, God. I love it. The entire game is you are a goose being a prick to every single person you encounter. Um, everyone chases you because they're really upset with you. <laughs> you can do so many different goose things, which do nothing. My favourite one is standing in front of people and just spreading your wings menacingly. They don't yep. care. Yep. But you can run around <laughs> honking to just distract people. So you can then steal their apples and yep. their bread to make Honestly, a picnic. I and, yeah. don't think I've laughed at a game more than what I laughed watching Josh. <laughs> yeah, I've got on yeah. the Switch and it feels like the ideal Switch game. So it'll be yeah. interesting how it feels on the PlayStation. Like the... Is, there, is there a trophy list for yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Platinum? Yeah. Oh, all right then. I'll, I'll go through and do it. <laughs> oh, all right, so, like, the first oh level is God. you swim out of a pond to go harass a farmer 
And the funniest thing to do is it it's not a required thing to do, but if you steal his keys and unlock his little farm to get in, <laughs> you can then lock him out and stand on the other side of his gate honking at him <laughs> while he looks really upset because you have his keys. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's good fun. It took the world by storm when it came out. For some reason, everyone went mental yeah. for this game. Um I mean, so much I bought it. I imagine you I bought, bought it. it as well. Yeah. And I didn't dis- I, I wasn't disappointed with it. I did feel it runs its course quite quickly, the joke. Is, yeah. is realised, but probably by chapter end of chapter two, I would say. I I don't think though it's so long that it comes back around to being like annoying. Oh it's, no! I thought it ran its course about midway through chapter three. Yeah, when it got slightly rebuffed by the fact that you can honk through a harmonica. Yes, that really brought it back for me. <laughs> but it's only like five levels long. Yeah. So by the end of the game, you're like, okay, I had fun with this. Yes. It I, didn't burn me out. That's it. At no point are you annoyed by it. But yeah, yeah this, this this was fun, but it does run its course. Yeah. This was charming. It was funny. Remind me a little bit of like, what was the goat simulator where you goat got simulator. to be a... <laughs> got to be like a satanic goat, goat simulator. Yeah, goat simulator. Goat simulator. Okay. That's a great fucking game. <laughs> I love What's Goat that Simulator. Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator. I, I, love, okay. I love Goat Simulator as well, though. But I think that is a better and worse game in way yes. because it steers into the joke of it being a goat. Yeah. yeah. Like this is you are just a goose a and you are doing things in a goose way. Doing goose shit. Yeah. You don't have. You don't turn to like a Satan goose. No. You don't like get abducted. You don't do any of that. that. You're just a goose. You could yeah. argue that. Geese are Satan's creatures anyway. Yeah, but like you can run into a pub and steal their cutlery and run away. And people chase you, like, bring it back. You're like, honk. (laughs) It's so just goofy and I love it. Yeah, I mean, three good games. Um, They are all in our top five. So, we've done well this time. Top five, uh, unsurprisingly, uh, number one for a suggestion is Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. Yep. Number two is is Cheer. Let's give it a go. Three, I think, is a bit of a surprise with Neo, The World Ends With You. Which I think I don't think any of us were really looking at prior to no. this, and then I had a look at it and going, "This looks I've interesting." Gone, and I've boring. half looked at it. I looked at it. I remember when it came out, however many fucking years ago. Yeah. The original, the world ends with you. Um, and then they are also in one of the Kingdom Hearts. Those people are they? Yep. And it's just it always looked interesting. The main gimmick originally, and this is part of it. I'm excited to see how it plays on the PlayStation. The original gimmick was it was on the DS. And you played different gameplay styles on the two screens. Yeah. You, like, control two characters at once who I think were in, like, parallel worlds. Okay. And one you control with the touchscreen and one with the buttons. And I'm excited to see how they replicate that, that on the across. PlayStation. Maybe, maybe use, like, a button to swap them. Or maybe it's more like um, uh, Tales Two Brothers. Maybe. Half controller, half controller. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I thought it looked really interesting. But I think we all thought, oh, that looks a bit, a bit different, a bit interesting. Yeah. Number four, Untitled Goose Game. All right. Yes. And number five is Ghostwire Tokyo. Good game. Um, Seven yes. out of ten. Yes. Well, I think that's, I think that's a bit generous. Uh, ah, it's great. <laughs> um, but those are our top five. Uh, just a couple of notable ones that came in close. Well, didn't come in close, but like the two that are just outside was Life is Strange True Colors, which yep. I do think is also worth a play. It's, again, that sort of episodic one, which is worth a good go at. And um, the other one was Code Vein, which is the only one of the actual ones that the um, the essential not the yeah. type tier that came into ours. I, I played a little bit of it. It's uh, anime Dark Souls. It's uh, I mean, it's something that I'm interested in. It's just it's not one that I thought was as good as yeah. the other items. Has an insane character career. Does it? Yeah. In, in a good way. In a good way. Yeah. That's that's always Bad. plus. Um, I was also uh, wanted. I also wanted Rage Two to appear on there, but I, I, it's, again, it's one of those ones which I think is a great PS Plus yeah. game because a lot of people have missed it. But it's good. In fun. the same way, I will also try that Rainbow Six skin. Yes. Because I thought it looked cool, but nowhere near cool enough to buy. Yes. Since it's on there, I'll give it a go. Yeah, that sounds Fuck about it. right. Um, and if Battlefield, if Battlefield, Battlefield. If Battlefield 2042 <laughs> is yeah. good now, because uh, I got it day of release. <laughs> I played the beta. And then no one to play with, so I stopped playing yeah. it. Um, hopefully, I'll give it another go and see how it goes. It's fun. Yeah. But yeah, that's this month. Um, this is March. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we now march forward to, hopefully, a more interesting PS Plus month. I think it'll be really good next month. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be much better. Yeah. 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 I hope so. Do you think it'll be good just because it has to be? Why does it have to be? Because they're losing all those games, aren't they? Next month is the one year anniversary of the extra catalogue. Ah. So people's renewals will be coming up if they paid for the year. That's a good. So point. I think they'll make a really big show of April so people stay with Because Premium the, has not been I don't know if it's great. Wor- it's not been great. It's so. had it's had a resurgence lately. But I'm not sure if it, if it's worth the so extra. I wonder or... if it's gonna have a big yeah. like premium catalogue next month. I only know that because yeah. I got the email about my renewal. 
that that'd be. And interesting. I'll renew it because fuck it. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it'd be interesting to see. Um, also, when do they take down the extra games? That you know, the the PlayStation Five. Oh, the, so I feel like the coming, library. Soon, I feel like that's coming down soon as well. I think that might be May. Yeah, be May. So I think April has to be a big month. Yeah, I, I just think it's the the year yeah. of people mm. who bought it day one. Mm. Fingers so crossed. Let's yeah. see how it goes. I, I mean, hope so. yeah. it would be cool to see what kind of things they'll bring out if they're looking for it to be a big month. Yeah, I got cheer and stray out of it, so I feel like it was worth its money. So mm. I'll take yeah. that. Cool. Anyway, that's the end of another episode. Thank you all for coming along. As always, please do check us out on our socials, which is yep. at Discount Pod. That's on uh, Instagram. We have our own individual ones, which is Discount Keris, Discount Josh, Discount Darren, all with yep. two C's before Darren makes his joke. Yes, it's Dakin. <laughs> Dakin. Um, <laughs> Also, do check us out on Twitch. We stream three times a week. We stream on Mondays and Fridays, which are our legacy games, which are currently uh, Dark Souls, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, and um, Pokemon Violet. Still going. Yeah. Still going, going strong. Going strong. And then on Wednesdays, we do episode games. So ones we discuss we on episodes. We've only got three streams left of Pokemon, and then it's done. 14, 14 or 15 streams completed. Mm-hmm. Um, Big game lastly do check us out on YouTube make sure to subscribe do all that sort of thing these episodes are coming up on there slowly so are our Twitch streams if you've missed any of those um, and that again is literally YouTube forward slash at discount pod yeah. um, everything's at discount pod two C's it will try and rule to correct you but yeah thank you for coming along really enjoy you being here hopefully you enjoyed it any thoughts or questions about March if you disagree with us let us know <laughs> drop us a message and we'll yeah. fight you in the streets um, <laughs> but yeah that's everything anything else that you want to say uh, bird is spelled bad now. Bird is spelled bad now. But yes, thank you for being our player force, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.